Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Dancing there by the record machine I knew he must have been about 17 The beat was going strong Playing my favorite song Could I tell it wouldn't be long to who it <laughs> What? I could tell it wouldn't be long Till he was with me Yeah, me I could tell it wouldn't be long with you till he was with me. Yeah, me singing. Are you guys ready? Do it with me. I love rock and roll. Put another dime in the jukebox, baby. I love rock and roll. So come on, take your time and dance with me. Ooh! He smiled. He smiled so I got up and asked for his name. Why even sing that part? Because I can't do it. Let's just be like... I love rock and roll, so put another dime in the jukebox, baby. I love rock and roll. Put in, come on, take a chance and dance with me. Oh, my gosh. Woo! All right, I'm obviously not in a singing mood, although I'm headed off to karaoke, but I don't know. I just couldn't pull that one off, guys. Sorry, but anyway, hey, welcome to Bella's Bargains. My name is Amy, and you've landed on... Holla for your dollar haul. Holla. Anyway, all right, let's get into it. If you don't know anything about this channel, you can check out the description box and it'll tell you. And today, though, I'm doing a Dollar Tree shopping haul. And why? Because everything on my channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? My cow Effingham will gladly tell you because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a and a quarter. That's right, Effingham. Thank you so much. Appreciate the input. All right, we're going to... Okay, I got gotcha. you. We're going to dig right in. I... All right, Effingham, calm down. I don't have, like, um, I don't have any giveaways today. Um, only because I was on vacation, I'm back, and I've been trying to finish up my craft area, which it's been really hard to even do a video because I'm so concentrated on getting that done. I have ADD, OCD, all of those. ABC, yeah, anyway. And so once I start on something, it's really hard for me to pull away. And of course, I'm still working full time, so... I'm trying to squeeze it in there. And then we decide to throw an impromptu pool party tomorrow. Like, what? Why? I don't know. And I had to set up my booth this weekend, so I did set up. I will share some pictures of that next week. And I will also take you on a tour of my craft area on Tuesday's video. All right, but let's dive in. I've got literally a laundry basket full of Dollar Tree goodies. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so we're just going to go for it. I don't even remember what's in here. Oh, I remember this, though. I'm going to save that. Um, I grabbed this. <laughs> I decided I needed it for my new craft area. That's literally what I decided. I was like, ooh, it'd be kind of nice just to have a little palette there, to do some of my color mixing in, so that's all I bought it for. I found some more shirts, you guys. Okay, this is a Fast and Furious shirt. I don't know what that means, because it doesn't have anything on it from the movie. But my guess is, like, they must have printed like a certain amount of blank ones to then put, you know, logoed stuff on for Fast and Furious. And these are just leftovers. That's what I'm thinking it is. Anyway, this is an XXL. Um, Marcus has vacation weight on, so. <laughs> and also, I want to make one for myself. So I got two because I'll cute it up. I'll girl it up. I'll cut it on the sides and knot it and stuff. Should do that for a video for sure. Um, but $1.25 for a really nice quality tank top. You can't beat it. And then... I found this one, so it's like one of those really distressed ones where you can almost see through it. I had a couple of ideas. First of all, 
Um, it's an extra large adult, but you know, an extra large on me, even still, it's probably gonna be tight. But for an undershirt, yes. But then I thought it'd be super cute to make a little girl's um, swimsuit cover up out of it. Cause it's like the right size, right? When you look at the length of it, it's the right size to do a cute little cover up. So I could cut all the ends and knot it. And then I could just cut down the side and knot it. And then knot this in the front here so that it's shorter. So I think that's maybe what I'm gonna do. That should be my craft today to show you guys. Maybe, it's going in the maybe pile. I gotta hurry though. Okay, and then uh, maybe no craft today, we're not sure. And then this is for me. Look, it's so wrinkled because I just threw them in. I'm doing my craft area, so I'm just like, threw the hole in the laundry basket and it's like, yeah. Anyway, and this is a nice V-neck shirt. I love these, $1.25. I still, like, to me, that's like so obnoxious. And this is Oki wear. I'm I'm just an Oki from Muskoki. I don't think it's that kind of Oki. But anyway, it's O-K-I. I I do not know if that's, I don't know. Anyway, I've never heard of that one. And this one, what was this one? This one is a no no name. No name. All right. Um. So let's see. I grabbed these, which are plate holders, but I got them because I want to throw them into my unconventional and use them as legs for like a platter or something. So it's gonna go, and when I show you guys my craft area, you're so gonna understand, like I now have areas separated for like a challenge that I'm gonna do and I can throw the stuff all in there for that bin. Okay, a couple of food items. I just gotta show, there's, I have quite a few of these in here, but do I have a small one? No, but in my cupboard I do. All right, so I have purchased there before this um, here it is avocado hot sauce and it's so good you guys it's so good and then I walk in and I find this I was like wait you're the mini me to this and you're both a dollar 25 what this is um, 12 ounces and this one's only five ounces I think I bought five I I, I bought them at two different stores I think about three at one and I was like why didn't I buy more so I bought a couple more anyway this is made in Mexico it is so good. It's 10 calories for a tablespoon, which really isn't bad. And um, I mean, so you could literally use it like a salad dressing. It would be very low caloric. That's what I need to do. Um, and it is good until, I was gonna give you Best Buy until October of 22. So, right? Let's make, maybe that'll be my thumbnail. Mm. Yeah. Okay, anyway, if you guys find that stuff, you should really try it. It's so good. And then this, which is garlic and pepper seasoning. I have not seen this one before, but they're really, the food stuff I'm noticing is just blowing up. I think that extra quarter is really giving them some buying powder, powder, power. Um, but this is that Supreme, which they have, they've had these, like I, the giant steak seasoning one. And anyway, lemon, pe garlic pepper. I was like, for $1.25 for that large thing. I don't know, insane. So this is, I have the other two here right now, so I'm gonna show them to you because they're sitting in my Foodie Friday basket. This is Duncan Hines, and these are their little individual cups. So I'm gonna do a tasting of them, but you, what a cute idea. This is a mermaid one, this is Galaxy, and then this one's Unicorn. So there's like the topping for the cake on the top of the packaging. And then you, from what I'm gathering, you like throw water in it, add cold water, and then microwave, you stir then microwave, and then um, and then you put the tops, sprinkle with toppings and enjoy. It's like a cupcake almost in, it's, they call it a cake cup. Look at that, cake cup. Hmm. I don't know. So I will try those. I just think that's kind of a cool thing like to, you know, get for kids and it's just super cute. Duncan Hines, brand name. You know, I love it when I pick up a brand name there. All right, something else for Foodie Friday is Yums. I think it's Yums, Yums. I don't know. Anyway, they're um, pecans, roasted and thinly glazed, crunchy joy. <laughs> Who doesn't like crunchy joy? So it's going in the Foodie Friday basket. Um, this. Gosh darn it, I can't find the photo when I was trying. So I buy the Banana Wave. We love the Banana Wave. It is so good in smoothies. And this stuff was at our grocery store for like $3.29. What? Yeah, $3.29 and I'm getting it at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. This stuff is so good if you guys haven't tried it. If you have to like bananas, if you don't like bananas, don't. And this one is good until May of 23. 
So it sits on your shelf. You don't even have to pull it out and get, until you need to pull it out. Once you open it, you're supposed to use it within seven to 10 days, but it's so good. I cannot get over how good it is. I'm just randomly pulling stuff out. Isn't this a pretty colored brown headband without the tag? Um, so those are new and then a green one. And you know, I love my headbands. So snagged those. Um, I'm just gonna go, go through here. Oh, and there's more yums. These are, these are pecan yums. What do you know? No. <laughs> it doesn't say small. It says yums. I think he sees things backwards. Um, anyway, this is... No, you can't try them either. These are cocoa twists. So they have coconut sprinkled on these pecans. Yum. Not yum, but yum. Mm, going in the Foodie Friday basket. Okay. Um, I just left one in here because I buy these for Marcus. He probably shouldn't drink them. They're only 10 calories. They're really good. I got to tell you... I don't, I don't drink them because I'm not like a sweets drinker, um, but they taste like sour apple. It's like a sour apple beverage. I mean, <laughs> vodka. <laughs> Definitely vodka. Okay, so here's another one. I bought two just to show you guys. So I wasted money on the one, but I had to show you. Explain this to me. What? Why? Okay, so this one is... It's SpaghettiOs. We all know what SpaghettiOs is. 15.8. And this one is 22. Like you get a 30% more, but no snap top opening thing, which I love those. Um, but I don't know why. Like why do they have the bigger can there next to the smaller can? I don't know. It's like going to a singles bar. Look at the big boy. Oh, there's a smaller one. <laughs> like, I don't know. You guys, do you like SpaghettiOs? We happen to like SpaghettiOs. On an open campfire, you take the label off and you heat them up on there. They're actually pretty good. I'm just like a camp food. Like, you're not going to eat it at home. Okay. And then this, speaking of camping and campfire food, Kingsford barbecue baked beans. I've never even heard of these before. You know, when I think of Kingsford, I think of um, uh, their their charcoal briquette, briquettes, right? How do you say it? Briquettes? Briquettes? I don't know. The charcoal chunks. Um, so I was like super interested in this. So I nagged it just to throw it into Foodie Friday so we could try it. Brown sugar molasses baked beans at that. So Kingsford baked beans. I don't think $1.25 like is a particularly wah deal on baked beans. But still, like it's Kingsford, so we have to try it. All right, then this is, this one's going to be interesting. But there's food in here. Why is there so much food? Because I'm trying to diet. That's why. <laughs> All right, so, um... Another brand name. And I'm like, why? I don't understand. So I happen to be in there. And this is Hamburger Helper. And this woman comes in and she's buying a bunch of it. And she goes, she says, these are like, what'd she say? They were $2.50 at the grocery store. And I was just like, is that come here? But I was like, oh, good, good to know. I didn't look at the grocery store. I have one upside down. Okay, but anyway, I just got it. We all know what Hamburger Helper is. But just to show you guys that it's there right now, because I'm so shocked because they have... Their non-brand name helper thing is there too. As a matter of fact, I bought them and I should do a comparison. But then what would I do with all of these? Maybe I should just do one comparison a week on the foodie day. Like I can pull out the box the same. Okay, well, let's talk about what they have there. So that's the lasagna hamburger helper. Um, and these are 6.6 .6 ounces. Cheeseburger macaroni hamburger helper. How many of you ate hamburger helper as a kid? Yeah. Stroganoff hamburger helper. Actually, the stroganoff one was always really good if you added mushrooms. And it made it better and some real sour cream and then beef pasta which sounds very similar to the cheeseburger one for some reason to me i don't know anyway there are box tops by the way so remember to scan your receipt if you do buy those and i probably will do a comparison with the what's the other one american country kitchen ah anyway also a new product there they're boxed pasta dinner ones and i can't think of the name right now anyway i will do a comparison to those um I don't have any high hopes for Hamburger Helper, like absolutely beating it up because I can't, like how much difference can there be in pasta? And I suppose the sauce. Okay, oh, more food. Pace, picante sauce, but they have Pace nacho sauce. Are, am I the only one that's like noticing that the groceries are just going like, does bonkers at Dollar Tree? Because they really are. Brand names are just showing up all over the place. So 
Foodie Friday for that. I keep saying Foodie Friday. Foodie Fun Day. And then this was a new one too. <laughs> so I got these um, to throw into Foodie Friday. And this is Duncan Hines, which is the same as the little cake cups, not cupcake. You're my cupcake. Um, Marcus, you're my cake cup. <laughs> you're like, what? Anyway, these are Duncan Hines. And it's four individual pouches for muffins. So you make a muffin in a mug. How convenient. Boy, if you lived alone, this is super convenient. I actually liked the, is it Pillsbury that, um, no, it was Betty Croc, who was it? That they had, maybe it was Duncan. They had the 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 muffins in, in a pouch at the Dollar Tree and it made six muffins. So that was a nice small amount, but still too much for just two of you. So this is kind of nice and you can choose which one you want. So they have the blueberry muffin and the cinnamon coffee cake, which I love cinnamon coffee cake. So I'll throw that in Foodie Friday. We'll also try that Foodie Fun Day. Okay, so let's keep going. I bought some more of this. If you guys haven't tried this, it's amazing. And so I put in my kitchen, you can't see it here. I'm gonna show you though. Um, I stuck my, one of the, look at how many I have, <laughs> one of the, uh, the towel holder things goes, I put it on the inside of my cabinet to hang those on. It's a really good little trick. And um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I bought this once before and I broke it. And so I decided to pick up another one because I kind of want to have, I have kind of have a good idea to make a craft with this. So I snagged one of those. Um, this is the stupidest book, but I got it to give to somebody for Christmas. It was $14.99. And it's Bill and T the Guide to Bodacious Life. It's Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Talk about going back to the 80s, right? Um, shwee! Mm -hmm. So it's just full of like stupid Bill and Ted stuff. But I know somebody that this is super hysterical for. So um, create your own band name, dude. <laughs> if you want to be truly awesome, you must make your own bodacious band. But you're saying, book... I can't play an instrument. I can't sing. Also, I do not own a private jet in which I could fly from concert to concert. You'll be glad to know that none of that matters. All that matters is choosing a band name. Choose one word from column A, column a and one from column B. So they have, like, oh my gosh, this is so silly. The most excellent yetis. Okay. So it's a Bill and Ted's book. I think it's super hysterical. $14.99, $1.25, and I'm giving that to somebody for Christmas. Then... Um, they had these little doohickeys and these are brand new and they're so cute. So I'm actually going to give them to somebody who makes cupcakes all the time. Um, but, uh, voila is blowing it up as well. Like there's so much new stuff. All the cute little birthday boxes that have the cute little tops on them now that are all patterned. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. But this, these are cupcake rings. So you make your little cupcakes and you decorate them with these. Like, I need to have another mermaid party just so I can use these. But look at how colorful they are, you guys. So cute. And then they have the unicorn ones. Look. Yeah. And then these were, I had to get the boy one too, just to show you guys. Like how cute. And I love how they decorated the cupcakes on these two. So su super simple way to decorate it. And then you add this little wrap on there. There's six wraps in each one of these. Are these not adorable? So cute. So, and it would make a really cute gift to give somebody, like you can make, hey, I don't have any cupcake maker mix here, but you can make a cute little gift basket, like fill it with these things and then, you know, put some cupcake mix in there. And they, now they have all this really adorable um, icing and sprinkles and all that. Have you guys been seeing that? Cause it's super cute and the packaging is amazing. I haven't bought it, I don't bake. I should do a video of it, though, to show you guys in case you're not all seeing that. Okay. And then um, I already hauled one of these the other day. And so the, I found the black one. And um, and I got another white one. So because I just think these are going to be super cute. I have an idea to, like, to Mod Podge over the entire thing. So, um, and once they, something like that comes out, out, often it's not out for long. I'm not sure why it's not out at Valentine's Day, but that's okay. They're super cute. So I got it in the black because I had already purchased it in the white. Um, na, 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 na. Oh, I also buy him these. I think I've already told you guys, the root beer bangs. 
to die for. It's super good. So the thing is, I know they're $1.25 a drink, but if you go to a gas station or even to a regular grocery store to buy these, they're not $1.25. I mean, if you could get a, a four pack of something like this for five bucks, that would be on sale at a grocery store. So paying $1.25 to get them there. All right. So I needed a new one of these and I was like, wait, what is this? <laughs> Why is it stretchy? I've never seen one that was stretchy there before. And I was like, oh, it's kind of cool. It looks like it's got like a scrunchie in the middle of it, but that's like totally attached to it. It's like sewn into it and it's like stretchy. I feel like I could just like scrub my arms like this. I don't know. Also very, I guess, oh, I'm so dumb. Scarlet, if you're watching. Okay, so, oh, my eyelash is sticking. Okay, so that's what it's for. Oh, wow, I like that. Well, now that's very cool. Huh, it doesn't even say that on here, just as it's a loofah. No instructions, no anything, but I guess the two tags on the end sort of give it away. But isn't that nice, you guys? Like, you can, you can, you know, clean everything. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, I saw it. I was like, oh, all right. Um, let's see. Found some new ribbon, and I, I had to open it to look at it. So these are 30 feet, and it's silver and gold. Silver and gold, silver and gold. Remember that from camp, church, or wherever? Um, let me get to the end, because I kind of wanted to show you guys. Now, for me, I don't see this really as ribbon. I really see this more as a really faux knockoff. Um, gonna... Um, what do they call it when you gold leaf something? So I think I can do it. I think I can sort of confetti it up and gold leaf or silver leaf something with it. I'm willing to give it a try, you know me, and see what I can get. Um, the worst case scenario, I can definitely Mod Podge it onto something and then, and then I could sand off the top layer and I would get the reverse effect of the gold leafing on the inside parts of it. So which often gold leafing is kind of like, anyway, whatever. I'm just thinking, I'm going to try. I'm going to give it a try. So these are brand new. There's 30 feet in here, which I thought was pretty decent. And it's their, it's their floral garden. This looks like Christmas. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. There's no rhyme or reason to some of the things they do. Post-it notes in the heart shape. So I can leave Marcus little messages. I just thought it'd be cute. My favorite color is hearts. Be like, hey, you know, like in the mirror. I love you, baby. Yeah, stuff like that. Or in his lunch. Okay, that's what I got those for. Um, let's see. Moving right along. Uh, some white ribbon because as I was doing all my craft stuff, I realized they basically had no white ribbon, none. And then I saw this, and I was like, okay, now I do. So, and this is just I just got it in different textures and different widths. So white ribbon just for my supply. Um. Let's see, where do I wanna go next? Then they have this. So they're coming out with the vinyls for those little mini machines. I don't have one. You guys, I've said it time and time again, I'm never gonna get one. For me, and it's just me, and for all of you that have a Cricut, God bless you. But for me, part of the artistic, part of the creating is to sort of like doing all that stuff. I almost feel cheat, like I'm cheating when I use stickers even, but um, I'll use sticker words, but I just feel like if I make a sign and I just, take the entire graphic, I don't know, it's not cheating. Now I'm talking myself out of that, it's not, it's fine. But I don't have one, I'm not gonna have one. I like to play with my handwriting and stuff when I'm gonna do something like that. But these say permanent writable white sticker. So I bought this because I need to label all of my bins outside and I was like, oh, well I'll just like write and cut on this, I think. That was my idea. You know I may not do that. We all know I might not. Okay, um, let's see, where do I wanna go next? So this seemed like a new shape to me. So it looks like a great big jelly bean, doesn't it? <laughs> um, it seemed like a new shape, so I grabbed it. It just thrown my wood stack because I was like, I don't think I've seen that shape before because I would have thought that it was a big jelly bean if I'd seen it before. So, um, but I feel like it would be really good for like a riser to make a nice little riser with. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Like put that on these with these cute little legs. Maybe. So anyway, there's that. 
And then I found a bunch of flexible stencils. So I grabbed them all. Um, now this is, I don't have a Cricut, but I'll use a stencil. So what's the difference? Yeah. See, I just talked myself out of it. It's not cheating. Okay, so this one says shine bright. Shine bright like a diamond. And this one is trust yourself never. You should. <laughs> I just shouldn't. So trust yourself. And then we have... <laughs> Yeah, I know you don't trust me, Effingham. You think that's really fun? Hey, okay, whatever. Move yourself. Okay, so be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. So that that one's... Which, did I talk to you guys about the rainbows on the trip? I feel like I haven't talked much about the trip because it was so fantastic. If you, I did put a montage of, video, of pictures, though, at the end of one of my videos. So we, driving out of the hills on the 4th of July, actually, we were going down in Rapid, into Rapid City to watch fireworks. And I was driving, and I turned the corner. I was like... There's a rainbow! It was so bright. It was the brightest rainbow I've ever seen. And they're all like, you know, back there on their whatever. You know how it goes. And I'm like, you got a rainbow! And then we turned the corner and there was a double rainbow. And then I'm like, oh my God, it's a double rainbow! And then we went through the whole thing about what rainbows mean and all that. And then we turned the, we kept seeing like rainbow after rainbow after rainbow. We finally stopped and we took some pictures with the rainbow. And then we get home and uh, my ki my daughter, they, what, the grandkids and Devin and Emma, they were making fun of me because I screamed rainbow. They like, It was like, rainbow! And I was like, but I was excited. So then we get home and like literally the very next night, there's a rainbow. And then we said, it was like, oh my gosh, another rainbow. Then two days later, we walk out the front door, rainbow. And I sent it to Emma. And I was like, okay, hey, I think God's giving me a message. And she answers back and she says, it's just that God really loves you. And then she waits a few seconds and she goes, no, it just really means it rained. <laughs> then last night, another rainbow. So I should totally make a sign with this. Okay, dream big, like really big, like really big, dream big. Um, coffee is my spirit animal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you're my friend. You're not my spirit animal. Really? Effingham says when... Who goes off to the great yon pasture yonder way? He's gonna haunt me, be my spirit animal. Then won't you be? Oh, you're funny, having him. <laughs> oh my gosh, having him. Okay, any pizza is a personal pizza if you believe in yourself. <laughs> That's like that magnet that I got that said people who like food are my kind of people. Yeah. Okay, my eyelashes are sticking so bad, you guys. Okay. Um, let's see. And I got to go because we're going out. So then I found some more of these um, decorative stickers. And I really like this series that they're doing because you get like five stickers in there. Um, and they, they show it like on a cell phone. But you get these fun like sayings. And I think these are super easy and fun for not a cricket. But you can, <laughs> you can use them to make signs um, or put on your phone. Um, or put in a pocket letter or something, which I need to do one for Scarlet, and I'll show you guys again. So this one shows the back of a, like an iPad or, or a PC or um, a laptop. And so just fun. So it says, you matter. It's always coffee time. You can change the world. And then this one shows it on a notebook. And it's like, the time is now. You got this. But anyway, look at the coloring too. So I really like what they've done with the fonts and the coloring. It's really good. It's not cheesy looking. It looks really good. So Dollar Tree is coming a long way with their, instead of looking tchotchke, things are really starting to have a better look. Okay, I have a favorite thing in here. Oh, another thing, a white ribbon. Um, let's show you this. I saw this. I don't necessarily like it. <laughs> I, I don't actually, I don't think. But I was like, I have to get it. Because it's a blue and white check, um, what do they call these things? Charger. And I was like, interesting and then it looks like granite in the center i was like super interesting i just got it because i was interested in it i think it looks very homemade doesn't it look like first of all this looks like painter's tape doesn't it like you're getting ready to paint it <laughs> like you <laughs> painter's tape all over it that's what it looks like that's exactly what it looks like well anyway it's a blue and white check and i thought okay so i could add like super bright yellow flowers on it and probably make it look pretty good i really just bought it just to show you guys that was it. That was the only reason. Because I was like, what? This is a weird looking charger to me. Painter's tape. You're seeing it, aren't you? Yep. Yep. We all see it now. 
We all see it. We all see it. Oh, and some more rub-on transfers. So I love this one because it has the Be Brave on it and it has that boho right there. So I absolutely love that. I think I already hauled it once, um, but I just was in love with also these lines here, which they'd be super cool to do on, you know, a box or a, a cube or anything. It'd just be really cool. So snag that. Um, and some little candy jars with lids. So initially I picked these up because I was thinking about um, my craft area, which I'm sure that's still what it will be because I have all my beads are together, but then I had like white beads and pink um, beads and I was thinking, you know, the, the wood beads. And I was thinking I should separate them so I could in this, but I probably need a couple more. All right, enough of that. And then I love this. So you guys have seen me use these in crafting and I do, and this is gonna go in my craft area. So, but I absolutely loved all the bright colors of this. And I was like, I know I can do something with this in crafting. So I snagged it, but it's also a super cute little stocking stuffer or something for a little girl. When my girls were little, I constantly did their hair in braids and used these little rubber bands for everything. They still hate me, I think, for it. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna show you my th three favorite, the last things on this haul. And I'm just like, I was like, what? So Freeman, Freeman. So I know they've had the facial masks there. And I, what I find the other day, I was like, it's Freeman. So I found more. So this is peel off mask for men, for your metrosexuals. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, folks, that's just a politically correct way of saying somebody is, it's a metrosexual is a man who lives in the city and likes to get pedicures and manicures, has nothing to do with his sexual preferences. It's just one of those names. So I was like, what a perfect gift for if you know, if you have somebody that's a metrosexual. So this is, they're kind of a, yeah, back in the day it would have been a yuppie. Now they call them that. Anyway, Freeman. So it's a deep cleans, tones and clears pores and it's an easy to peel off mask. I was like, that's cool. Then a cosmet cosmic metallic mask. So I'm thinking of this for Scarlett. And it is, which by the way, isn't she the most beautiful girl ever? Oh my gosh. I'm glad you guys got to see a little bit more of her. And she is sarcastic as all get out and very humorous, just like her Bella. So um, I was, grab that. And then this one, but this one's for me. So this is feet, cracked heel, foot treatment, repairing. Anyway, um, just in the summertime, especially like if I do a lot of swimming and stuff, but it's Freeman. I was like, yeah, I don't know. Okay, then there was, this is my, Sec, I'm not sure it's tied, but I walked in and I'm always looking at socks. I have a sock fetish, but I give them away. Like I give the socks. Also socks are a really good thing to donate to like veterans things and stuff or homeless shelters. But, and the kids are always growing, so I'm buying them socks. So um, yeah, they had like, I don't know, it's one of those Saturday morning shows or something. It's not one I know my kids aren't young and my grandkids aren't young anymore. So we're not watching any of those like kitty ones. But then I saw these. I was like, wait, what? Star Wars socks? So this is Ma Mandalorian. I was like, yeah. I got him to send off to Moses and Zane. Mandalorian Star Wars socks there. Why? There's not a price on here. It says distributed by Green Briar. It's killing me. I don't understand this. But okay. I'm like, I'm gonna buy the Mandalorian socks from the Dollar Tree because they're $1.25, right? Um, so obviously they've worked out because they have a lot of Mandalorian stuff that we've been finding. Um, I mean, when we were going to Disney, remember I was buying everything I saw. So obviously Greenbrier has made some sort of deal with them. I don't know. Maybe Disney owns Dollar Tree. What do I know? Don't they own everything else? Okay. So now my favorite, my absolute favorite. And these were $1.25. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. <laughs> but they're so stinking cute check these out. They're soap bottles. I already bought, I spent $3 for the bigger ones that I bought at the Dollar Tree Plus for my bathroom. But these are like, stay safe, wash your hands, keep calm and wash your hands. Is this blue not incredibly gorgeous? So here's the thing too. I'm wondering if like you could get this off. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Isn't that beautiful? I think it would look okay in my kitchen. Like if I made it my soap dispenser in my kitchen for soap, which I will do with one of them. Um, probably stay safe and wash your hands. But $1.25. Okay, so these are home essentials. And um, isn't home essentials, is that Target, you guys? I don't know, somebody tell me. All right, anyway, it's pump it up. 
dispenser, 16.2 fluid ounces. It's for show, so, soap. It's for soap, lotion, or hand sanitizer. I don't know, you guys, these are distributed by Home Essentials. Home Essentials, where's that? Walmart, Kmart? Walmart, Kmart, are there any anywhere anymore? Okay, so that was my favorite find today. All right, guys, I gotta go. I gotta go, cause I love rock and roll. Put another dime in the jukebox, baby. I love rock and roll. Come on, take a chance and dance with me. Woo! All right, guys. Hey, everybody, have a great day, great week, a great life. That was not a huge haul, but I'm just getting back into the swing of things because we were gone and finishing up my craft room, and I can't wait. Not my room. It's my garage, my craft garage. I can't wait to show you guys. So anyway, and the booth also, selling my stuff at the booth. All right, so everybody, have a great day, great week, great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, effing ham, what do you have to say? Oink, oink, moo, 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 moo. Yeah, okay. Happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you back here on Tuesday. No craft today. Sorry, I gotta go. No craft. But I will, I'll be back on Tuesday. I know I've been doing crafts at the end of my hauls. I, just, I can't right now. I don't have time. I'm so sorry. It's been rushed. But don't worry, I'll get back to it. Um, and we'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.